Hello and welcome to this lecture. In this lecture we start the configuration of the Cisco ASA firewall in order to have it uh, ready for connectivity from the Windows uh, management station through ASDM so basically to the graphical user interface so that we will configure for the IPsec VPN, uh, IPsec VPN side to side to the HQ site. So first of all we would have to configure IP addressing and we will also configure the IP on the internet router so let's finish with uh, that first so gigabit 0 by 2 interface gigabit 0 by 2 it has the IP address of 100.100.100.101 and it's a slash 30 mask so 252 and I will say no shut and also write the configuration and that's it so configuration of the uh, internet cloud router anyway it's it's done now let's jump to the Cisco ASA so right click and I will say console just increase a little bit and let's do the configuration so enable no password just hit enter and let's start with gigabit uh, so would you like to enable an anonymous server? no good so interface gigabit 0 by 0 this is the WAN the WAN facing interface first of all for Cisco SA you have to provide a name a name for the interface and we will say this is outside let's see an IP address now so IP address 100.100.100.102 and 255.255.255.252 also no shut let's now also configure gigabit 0 by 1 so the, the LAN facing interface interface gigabit 0 by 1 and let's say IP no first of all do not forget the name interface name if because otherwise it will not work it the interface will not be uh, initialized so name if we'll call it inside and now we can say IP address what 192.168.3.1255.255.255.255 yeah it's a slash 24.0 good and if you now say show name if you can see that we have two interfaces and management as well so the name show run interface management management 0 by 0 name if management 192.168.1.1 uh, this is not good we will say interface management let's say interface management 0 by 0 the IP address is 172.30.100.1255.255.255.0 so and and let's say also write to save the configuration show interface IP brief and let's see all of the interfaces so we have we forgot to um, well i forgot to uh, do a no shutdown on the on this one on gigabit zero by one i will do it right now up up this is the ip address perfect so let's go now configure terminal interface gigabit zero by one and say no shutdown and let's check again so show interface ip brief perfect so all of the three interfaces have the necessary ip address configured and they're in the up up state perfect so now one last thing uh, to do we have to enable something and you will see exactly what i mean uh, on the cisco sa so that the windows uh, windows machine can actually connect um, connect uh, through http so from uh, from a browser through ASDM uh, or or basically through an through an HTTP or browser in the first place if you don't have ASDM configured and then when you install the software on your PC through that uh, through that P, uh, through that user and password that we will define on the SA you will be able to um, to configure your your SA device anyway the configuration indeed is this 
So we'll have to define a username, let's say Cisco, the password Cisco and privilege 15. We'll also have to enable HTTP, so HTTP server enable. This means that the SA now accepts HTTP connections. And we also have to say, well, um, so what's the subnet uh, IP that the HTTP re re uh, request will come from? So if you now say HTTP and question mark for the first uh, first row here, hostname or ABCD as the IP address, it says the IP address of the host and or network authorized to access the HTTP server. So I will say now anything, although it's not good to do it in the production. And I will say that the connection will come through the management interface. And you can see that we have a management uh, a connection from the management interface to the Windows station. So I will say just enter now and, and again save the configuration. One last thing to do is to test basically uh, I, ICMP connectivity between the Windows machine and the SA and also check to see if the, if the browser loads the SDM or lo loads the interface of the Cisco SA. So let's go and do that. Let's go to the Windows machine and open up command prompt. Let's see, I can't remember exactly. Probably I haven't configured yet. Yes, uh, I didn't. So we have to configure the interface, the NIC card for the management uh, uh, connection to the SA. So the last one is disabled. So I'll say enable now. And let's say also properties and once it loads, Let's go to TCP IP, IPv4, properties, and the IP address that should be configured is 172.30.100.100. So let's do that. So use the following, 172.30.100.100, and this is a slash 24. And I'll just click OK and close, and close this one's too. And now let's check again and see if we have the IP address configured here. Yes, it is. Now let's try to ping the management uh, IP address of the uh, ASA. And we have reachability. So you can see here on the desktop that I have uh, installed already Cisco SDM launcher. So if you, if you just double click it, something will appear here in a second. And anyway, we will have the possibility to connect to the ASA. So the IP address, username and password, remember we have just defined it and so on. But if you don't have the software installed in the first place, you'd have to go to a browser. Again, the ASA has been configured to act like an HTTP server. And you would say 172, in this case, 30, 100, and one, no, 101. And you can see that it's just like you would connect to a website. So click advanced then proceed and here is the SDM interface so you have the option to install SDM launcher now uh, or, or run the SDM launcher and install the SDM uh, the SDM software so run Cisco SDM as a local application once you install the software and you have it available on your desktop like you can see here you can use it with um, you can use it to connect to whatever SA you have uh, it doesn't matter, so it's not one per one software per SA. So username Cisco, let's also say password Cisco, and I will click OK. So do you want to continue? Connection uh, is untrusted. Anyway, we know what it is, so just click on continue. And now the Cisco SDM uh, IDM launcher should start. Let's wait. Software update completed. And we, we should be provided with the user interface. And here it is. So basically now, just a short recap, we have configured IP addressing on the Cisco SA, both on the public or WAN side and also on the private or LAN side. We have also configured access on the management port through SDM from the Windows machine. So basically we are now ready to start the configuration both of the HQ48 and the Cisco SA firewall for the IPsec VPN site to site. So thank you for your time and see you in the next lecture.